Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. The struggle is real. He changed the bathroom code. I was like hitting the buttons. I'm like, how do you get in here? Why did they change the bathroom code? It's been like that forever. It's hard enough to remember all the bathroom codes. <laughs> This other flight attendant helped me though. She's like, it's blah, 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 blah. I'm like, thank you, thank you. Oh, you guys are out on a walk. No, that's with Franny. I'm not by myself. My plane was in the apartment. Oh. Ah. Okay, putting on some red lipstick. I love red lipstick when I fly. This is my favorite red lipstick, you guys. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the color is Ruby. Yes, I am in the woman's bathroom at LaGuardia Airport. I just talked to my mom. She is dog sitting. I flew her in from LA to dog sit Franny because I'm on call this month. It's my reserve month. I got a reserve trip today, and I didn't want to like take the chance of dropping Franny off at you know, a dog sitter or boarding. So I just called my mom and was just like, just hang out with him. <laughs> so she's out walking right now. So I have a three day trip starting today. It is 3.50. My sign in is at 3.59, so I have nine minutes. I'm going to go into the lounge right now and meet my new manager. I've got a new manager. I loved my old manager. This is my third manager in three years. Okay guys, I'm gonna go meet her really quick before I have to go to the plane. I think I am ending up tonight in Tulsa. I think I'm LaGuardia to Dallas, Dallas to Tulsa. I gotta get my phone. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know my schedule. <laughs> Let's look at my schedule really quick. Okay, yeah, I'm LaGuardia to Dallas, Dallas to Tulsa. So I'm gonna end up in Tulsa tonight, guys, at 11.15. And then I stay there and then tomorrow I don't leave Tulsa till 4.30 p.m. So I got all day. What am I gonna do? I got my bathing suit. But I don't think it's hot in Tulsa. Hey, you're a passenger, Brian Seymour. Yes, sir. Kyle Roar and Cash Blake, have you been here yet? Pink Berry. This is so funny. I just have never seen this in my life. We've got somebody flying with me and she's like, wait, you're vlogging? Are you, are you, you're doing it? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. She's like, do I need to sign a release? <laughs> you're kind of blurry because this is, I'm it's so like. It's all about you. <laughs> it's all about you, boo. Like, Aww, it's good. <laughs> thank you. You're so, okay, and she was seriously just making me laugh right now. Okay, guys, so one, we're in Dallas. Two, she was like, I was like, should we walk to our gate? Because we just landed at A and we need to go to C. And she's like, well, you know, this new year I did that whole, New year, new me. What'd you say? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I said. She said, new year, new me. I'm like, what? I've never heard that. She's like, you know how we make all those resolutions? I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's so cute. New year, new me. So new year, new me. I'm walking with her. But in Dallas airport, there's this baked potato place. There's this restaurant that does these baked potatoes and they're supposedly amazing. So that is what we're doing. We're walking over to these baked potato plates. All right, and then we've got one more short flight to Tulsa, and then we can go to bed. Okay guys, this is it, Salt Lake. She's like, I'll try to save you a potato next time. All right guys, so they're out of potatoes. I guess they just told us that they make potatoes. Um, they make 30 potatoes in the morning. The guy makes 30 potatoes. And once those potatoes are gone, they're gone. No potatoes after that. And so many flight attendants talk about this potato place, this Salt Lake potato place. And I guess it's like a big, big potato and they put, what do they put on it? Like any of the meats. It's enormous. It's easily two and a half meats. It's okay, so the potato is easily two and a half pounds and they just put meal. Oh, two and a half meals. And they just put like all these toppings, but she substituted her potato for fries, so let's see this. Ooh. Don't need the butter. Yeah, all I need Wow, is that's butter. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Sour cream? Cheese. What are you gonna get on it? 
Brisket. Can I get some like a side of a uh, barbecue sauce as That's well? That's the brisket. If they don't have potatoes, just get fries and then put all the stuff that they would on the loaded baked potato, put it on fries. But I'm not gonna eat anything because my mom is visiting me in town and she told me, sweetie, you eat really late. You eat at nine o'clock at night, you're eating dinner, and then you're having your dessert and you really need to stop eating by like six or seven. So I'm gonna try to stop eating around six or seven and it is, oh my gosh, it's 9.16 New York time. You see how I can't stay on a diet, you guys? It's 9.16 New York time and I'm over here like, my other flight attendant friend's just barely getting dinner. So, this is a rough life. This is a rough life on me. But I need to get in shape. 2018 was my year. Plus my brother's wedding's in Hawaii this year. I will not be shamed on that beach. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever seen that meme? Where it's this like lady yelling and she's like, the beach is gonna get any body I give it. So funny. I don't know why I have so, many, so much energy and it's like nine o'clock at night. All right, we're heading to our gate now. One last flight, then to the hotel. <laughs> are you filming? Are you Snapchatting me? <laughs> flight attendants are always Snapchatting me. I'm vlogging. <laughs> no, I get embarrassed. I gotta go, guys. Like I was skimping on your <laughs> on your toppings. Oh, it's not that one. It's this one. Ooh, look, it's dark out. Hi, guys. Nobody is on the Sky Train this late at night. Are you eating your... No. <laughs> gotta get up while it's hot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I want to try a fry. <laughs> doors are closed. Please okay. do not block the doors. No, oh, they're still okay. good. Okay. They're seasoned really well. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just broke it. I'm not supposed to eat after seven. Okay, now I'm not eating anymore. This looks like Disneyland. Wait, what? We don't care about our bags right now. <laughs> We're like, literally, who cares? Let them lean. <laughs> Look at this emptiness. Just a... Uh, empty vessel okay guys just got to Tulsa it's like 11 15 in Tulsa time but it's 12 a.m. 15 New York time I am tired heading over to the hotel with my crew now Okay, I am not gonna lie. This hotel room is literally bigger than my apartment. <laughs> like seriously, this, this hotel room is huge. Oh my gosh, let me, let me get this angle for you. <laughs> you guys, look how much room there is. Oh my gosh, I have two beds, my absolute favorite. What is, what's going on out here? Not really sure. Hi, Moon. Hey guys, I'm setting you on the coffee pot. I feel like my red lipstick. <laughs> By the end of the day with my red lipstick, it is like a hot, hot mess. So, it is now, oh my gosh, it's 12.46 New York time. I'm so tired, you guys, I'm so tired. Tomorrow we have two legs again. I don't know where we're going, I haven't even looked. Um, but I think we end up in Salt Lake City. And we don't have pickup until 3 p.m. So I'm definitely gonna sleep in tomorrow, try to find something to eat around Tulsa, maybe just stay at the hotel and try to work out. Try to work out at the gym. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh wow, this lighting's a lot better than that lighting. That was really dark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's bright. 
I need this coffee in my life. Dark. Hi guys, good morning. Getting back into bed. One, not even one handed, only footed. Hi guys, good morning, good morning, Tulsa. Good morning, Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, it's like 11. I wanted to get up at 10, I, oh no, I wanted to get up at like nine. And like go to the gym, go get breakfast, do all these things and I ended up last night, I got home, and when I get home from a late flight like that, I'm like wired. I'm like, whoa, let's go run a marathon, what are we doing today? So I started watching Netflix. I'm watching this new show called Colony, and it's with this guy who was on Lost, and he's like really cute, and then his wife is the character from Walking Dead. The white, Rick's old wife from Walking Dead. So I'm like, oh, I'm starting to really like it, and so I watch like three episodes. They're an hour long each. So I don't even know what time I went to bed, 2.33. I was like, darn, I shouldn't have done that because that's really like 4 a.m. New York time. The struggle is real right now. It's 11 o'clock, pickup is at three. I still need to go find breakfast. I didn't pack one ounce of food with me, Not nothing. So this is like my breakfast right now. Guys. Seeking out breakfast. Where are you breakfast? I definitely think this is where it gets expensive when you don't bring food at all. Well. Shrimp tacos. Okay, those rice and beans look sad. I'm such a mess right now. I'm like, there's no way I'm eating downstairs in that restaurant. I'm taking this to go. Jim is no joke. Which was hard. I got my band. I'm like <laughs> doing my lunge things, sweating, feeling good. Like, what is this red phone for, though? <laughs> Orangey. <sighs> Motivation for the gym is so hard. Like, seriously, so hard. I never want to go. It's the struggle. Oh no. I think my card. Okay guys, I took a quick shower after the gym and my hair is so wet. I hope it dries a little, oh shoot. Almost forgot my laundry bag because the bed is so white. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, so I'm gonna say bye for now because I have to go meet. I'm like opening my suitcase. <laughs> I've got about six minutes before I have to go meet my crew and I'm trying to like be on time and like not be the last crew member to show up. That's like, you guys know my New Year's resolution. So I just have to pick up my jackets, my handbag, and for some reason, I can't find my scarf. I wonder if it's in my jacket. Okay, guys, so I'll see you later. Our first flight, let me just tell you real quick. I know, how much of you get anxiety when I'm running late? I always see you guys comment that. <laughs> I get anxiety too. Okay, so we're going Tulsa to Dallas, Dallas to Salt Lake City, and I'll get to Salt Lake City at 9 p.m. tonight. We have a two hour, a little less than two hours sit time in Dallas so I can grab some food. <sighs> I still have like four minutes. <laughs> 2.59, minute to spare. Guys, I had a minute to spare. I am not late, but now we are loading up in the van to get going. A minute early. I go, I go, I rock. I found my scarf. It was in my pocket, my jacket. Oh, there you go. Look at that picture perfect smile. Do your strut, do your walk. Oh, look at you. <laughs> he wants to follow on Instagram, you guys. He grabbed my phone and he was like, follow me on Instagram, follow me. I'll link it down below. Is your Instagram fun? Are they gonna like it? They're gonna love it. They're gonna love it? Okay. You guys, down below, you tell me if you love it. You don't need to know how to spell stuff. 
<laughs> okay, you guys, I literally just posted on Instagram a poll because I was in the van with my crew coming over here to Tulsa Airport, and I'm like, you guys, I just worked out and I have the post workout phlegm. And I'm like, coffee, and I'm like, <coughs> I'm like, do you guys ever get that? And every single crew member, including the pilots, were like, no. I was like, you guys, it's a legit thing. When I haven't worked out in a while, I get post-workout phlegm. I'm like, I'm gonna do an Instagram poll. And I did it, <laughs> and you guys are answering? And let me see where we're at right now. We have 120 of you say yes, you get it, and 153 of you say no. And the, the polls, they're still coming in. People are still voting, so. I'm gonna say that 50% of you get it, and 50% of you don't. Oh yeah, and P.S. Phlegm is the hardest word to spell ever. I thought it was, what did we think it was? F-E-F-L-E-M. <laughs> but it's like P-H-L-M-N-O-P-X-E-Q. <laughs> it's so hard to spell. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh my gosh. You guys, look how empty the Tulsa airport is right now. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> I love it. Okay guys, so the, I'm looking for something healthy to eat in the convenience airport store. <laughs> and the lady behind the counter was like, we have this really healthy guy that comes in here all the time and he gets these and they're protein crisps. So I'm like, as long as I don't eat the whole bag and just a few, I'm gonna try it. Just landed in Dallas. We've got 50 minutes till our next flight and all the flight attendants are hungry. So we're all kind of getting different food. We're gonna try salt, salt lick again. What? <laughs> My hair's all stuck in here. We're gonna try salt lick again to see if we can get those baked potatoes. Times two. Times two. <laughs> this airport is like busy, not going on. <laughs> Look how unhealthy we are. We got Popeyes here. How do you say this one again? Quadoba. 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 I got vegetarian nachos. I hate myself right now. Where's my backpack? I was at the end of the escalator. When I dropped my water, my backpack all came. All right, guys, you gotta eat real quick when it's in between flights. You don't have a lot of time. You just gotta sit here. Like you stand up, you eat. Hot goes. It's a flight attendant life. I really like sit down and eat. <laughs> I like, like standing and eating. It's okay. <laughs> the salad is bae. Oh, you went healthy. Guys, it is 9.53. We just got to Salt Lake City, but it's 11.53 a.m. New York time. I'm tired. I'm cold. I'm hungry. <laughs> alone. You alone? I'm alone. Really? And I'm sitting right here, so I'm, what am I doing? I'm alone. Am I a statue? Scared. <laughs> Can't wait to get into this hotel. We are waiting for a hotel shuttle van to get us. And I'm going straight to sleep. It's been a long day. We had a mechanical, we had a delay. So, we're finally here, we made it. <laughs> this might be my dream hotel. Are you kidding right now? Look, it's so close. You can taste it. Is it possible for a hotel to be sponsored by Starbucks? Because I kind of have this feeling. What? Yeah. That Starbucks sponsors this hotel. There's like Starbucks signs everywhere. But I've kind of given up Starbucks this year because I was spending like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars at Starbucks and I was like, okay, it's like an obsession. I need to quit. View. I feel like it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Creepy, scary tree. Just got here. Oh my goodness. All right, not gonna lie. I'm gonna totally wash my face and maybe watch an episode of Colony. I'm like obsessed with that show right now. I'm kind of under a spotlight. Okay, I'm delirious. Good night. Hi guys. Good morning. It is 8.18. Sorry I didn't get ready with you guys or say good morning until after I was already ready. 
but I have pickup at 8.30 a.m. Okay, sorry guys, my camera is acting up like it always wants to act up. Okay, so good morning. It is 8.20 now, and I am heading downstairs for my 8.30 pickup. I'm all ready. I just need to put like my jacket and my scarf on. Today we are flying, we're in Salt Lake City, so we are flying from Salt Lake City to Dallas and then Dallas to LaGuardia. And we're pretty much flying all day. We don't get back, it's eight o'clock now and we don't get back to LaGuardia until like 9.30. And then, so it's like because of time change and everything, I literally lose like an entire day. And we have a three hour sit in Dallas. So when I say three hour sit, so when we fly from Salt Lake City to Dallas, we get there and then we have to wait three hours until we can do our next flight. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do in Dallas airport for three hours. Oh baby ducks, hello little ducks, hello. <laughs> Watch they come by me. Guys, I'm such a mess. I just woke up from my nap in Dallas um, crew lounge and now I am going to my gate. You guys know we had a three hour sit time, so I lost my crew, I have no idea where they all went. We all like scattered once we landed. <laughs> but it's been kind of a long day. So excited to get home after this three day trip. We just got on the plane. Our plane status though is decision. So that means that they're still deciding on departure time. So I was supposed to go to gate A and then they switched the gate to gate C like 35 and then they switched it to like C22 so I was like ping-ponging around the airport and um, we just got here and we just talked to the pilot and he's like the plane's in decision so we're supposed to leave at 435 but it is 412 and we just got onto the plane and they don't know when they're gonna let the passengers on so this could be a long night I hope not because I'm tired <laughs> end of a three-day trip I want to go home I will let you guys know what happens after we land if I land at midnight or if I land at nine or what time look at the rain you guys rain rain go away bye. say bye bye oh you look so cute with your little beanie <laughs> you have the puddle ah, puddle central. <laughs> 918 New York time finally home is out of control so okay good night good luck goodbye Super Bowl's on right now Eagles are winning we'll see what the outcome is they're winning right now <laughs> go Eagles <laughs>